Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Woodmere Estate Revival. We're down here at the uh, property it's Sunday afternoon, trying to get some more stuff knocked out here. We got the contractors coming back tomorrow. They're mostly gonna be working inside. The outside's too muddy uh, to get any more of the drainage ditch work done. So they're gonna be working inside and begin to uh, remove and replace the damaged framing members in the downstairs. We're also gonna have the cleanup contractor in there tomorrow. They're gonna be using their back truck, shovels, uh, and everything they have at their disposal to clean out the crawl space. They're going to remove all the contaminated soil, all the water, building debris, trash, anything else that's under there, get down to clean soil, uh, spray some biocide, really get the place uh, cleaned up and ready for action. So uh, we're trying to get out the last remnants of the flooring that is there by the back door. There's some wood parquet flooring there. And then yesterday we tore out the tile floor in the bathroom. Now we just have to get the subfloor out. That shouldn't be too difficult. Famous last words. So I'm in the uh, skid steer right now. We're gonna use the skid steer, hopefully, unless I bury it up, to uh, haul the debris out from the tile floor yesterday because it's currently sitting on the parquet floor, which we have to tear out. So I'm gonna go get a load of gravel and uh, use some of that to kind of fill in the tracks here behind the house. Hopefully uh, get us enough uh, where we can get the skid steer in and out without, without burying it up. So let's see what we get done today and we'll hopefully accomplish a whole lot. So you can see what we're working with here. A uh, lot of mud, a lot of clay, a lot of standing water in behind the house. The uh, ditch that they've dug along the foundation is full of water. It has been pouring the rain, like an inch and a half, two inches in the last uh, 12 hours. So uh, we've gotten a ton of rain. Thankfully, the water is running away from the house and not into the house. So the crawl space is staying about the same. There's no sign of any water uh, intrusion in the crawl space right now. It is running around the ditch, down through the uh, the drainage ditch out the other side of the property and down into the front yard. So it does appear to be that uh, uh, keeping the water away from the house, channeling it away is going to stop the water intrusion problem in the crawl space, fingers crossed. So let's get some uh, gravel moved. We're gonna load some in here in uh, these tire tracks here, give us a little bit more traction so we can at least get the machine in and out without sinking it up to its axles. So I got dad here again with me today. How you doing dad? Great. Beautiful day. It is. At least the rain slacked off for a little bit. We got flood watch, but uh, right now we're not getting washed out, so that's good. Managed to get the skid steer in here without getting it stuck. We uh, spread out enough gravel to hopefully keep the road in decent shape for a few minutes anyways. And uh, we're now pitching stuff in the bucket. Still making the transition from 35 millimeter. <laughs> Eight millimeter. No, 35. I hate to see that 35 millimeter format go. That was a good format. It was. Still is. Yep. Still takes a good picture. Talk about film, everybody looks at you crazy. Yeah, especially the young kids. Yeah, what's film? Is that something on your eye? It's like saying you bought the latest album or the latest tape. They're like, what? Huh? Yeah. Was it 33 or was it 45? <laughs> or 78. Or VHS. I've got a lot of old 78 records that were my mother and singles. My mothers yeah. and had veggies, you know, when they were girls there right before the war. They're kind of coming back. I've got two boxes of them. A lot of people are digging that vintage sound. If you can find a record player to play them on. Mm -hmm. Most of them required an adapter, you know, later on to put on yeah. a spindle. We still have one. And like that, we'll get the Edison out and play some cylinder records. <laughs> It even works when you have a power failure. You need to show the kids that sometimes. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to think. Okay, are we ready to add to the trash pile? Yep. Okay. So we're taking the bathroom apart. We got uh, the, all the partition well and the pipes and everything cut out here where the old shower was. And uh, we're taking the last of the partition wall down off the ceiling. We've got one more copper vent pipe kind of holding us up there. So we're going to cut that. The rest of this thing should just fall down. Hopefully not on my head. Hey there. 
The under goes 50 cents. There goes the shoe. Good boy. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Good. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's about it for the uh, subfloor in the bathroom and in the back entryway. As you can see, there are a ton of pipes and HVAC ducts and more pipes and more ductwork. Just unbelievable how much stuff is crammed into this small space. And you can see all this trash. And uh, that's because this place was the den of Mr. Raccoon. Let's see where Mr. Raccoon had been bringing. There's a uh, bread sack. Uh, there's a tin can. Uh, let's see what else we got here. There's another tin can. And there's a mayonnaise jar and another tin can. So he'd been dragging a trash up in here and feasting on it and uh, not cleaning up after himself, unfortunately. But there's just mud and stuff drug up all up on top of this HVAC duct just from where he'd been living up here for who knows how long. So, uh, boy, the guys that are coming in to clean this place out are gonna have a lot of fun, aren't they, Dad? Oh, I'd, yeah, I'd just soon drink poison and have that job. Better than you and me. Yes, yeah. I was gonna go on strike. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you one bit. So, uh, so that's pretty much it. Now we just got to get a little bit of cleanup done here and get the last of this stuff hauled over to the dumpster. We've managed to uh, load everything in the skid steer and I've been getting the skid steer in and out of here without uh, getting it buried up. So that's a plus. Rain's finally laid up for a little bit. Still got a lot of water laying down in the uh, in the ditch here beside the house, but it is going out the other direction and draining through the yard. So at least that's what it's supposed to be doing this time. Well, folks, that about does it for this edition of Woodmere State Revival. We got a lot done this afternoon. We got all of the debris removed from yesterday's demolition session. Got it hauled over into the dumpster uh, with the skid steer, and then we got the last of the flooring ripped up, the subfloor in the bathroom, and then the parquet floor in the back entryway. So we're down to the floor joists there, and we revealed some more wonderful stuff, uh, including rotten floor joists, rotten sill, rotten band joists, uh, shower that had been leaking for who knows how long, and rotting out the flooring, and a toilet that had been leaking for who knows how long, rotting out the floor. So, you know, just more, more abuse and neglect. So let's take a look and see what we got accomplished today. Standing here in the mud pit, it, uh, it is a real mess behind the house here. Muddy water down in the trench. Good news is it's running away from the house and uh, down the other end there and out into the yard. So it is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Let's keep all the water away from the house. Leave this mud outside. Eesh. Sticky, nasty stuff. All right, so here is the uh, floor in the back entryway. This was where the last of the parquet floor was. And you can see just more uh, filth and nastiness. Uh, of course, the mice had moved into the insulation, made themselves a nice home here. And as I mentioned earlier, the raccoon had been living quite some time on top of the ductwork here, just off the kitchen. So there's the kitchen and the family room that way. So now we're standing in the back entryway. Mr. Coon was living on top of this duct right here. Raccoon poo and trash, everything else from where Mr. Coon had been living in there for a long time. Here's the bathroom. And over here on the far side, you can see where the joists and the sill and everything else is just gone. You know, over here in this corner where the shower had been leaking. You can see where this joist is just rotted off. Uh, this joist is just rotted off. Uh, the end of that joist is off. And the, uh, the sill is gone. And then you get over here where they penetrated with the uh, joist with all this piping and everything. And then where the, uh, probably the sewer flange on the toilet had been leaking for who knows how long. It eventually just ate away those two joists there. 
So again, it's uh, it's on the list to get replaced. We're gonna have our crew in here tomorrow, cleaning out the crawl space. You can see more trash on top of the ductwork there from when Mr. Coon was occupying this space. It's beyond me how people could live here and allow raccoons to live in the crawl space. But you know, I guess uh, they didn't necessarily care about anything else to do with the house. So you know, having wild animals in your crawl space, I guess, wasn't really high on their list of concerns. And there's a little bit of damage over on this side right by the door uh, where the door was kind of left ajar for who knows how long and water had been pouring in the back door. We got that closed and got that stopped uh, but there was some damage in the flooring here. The joists themselves look to be in pretty good shape so we may be able to salvage all of these and uh, the sill and the, the uh, band joist looks to be in decent shape so maybe I'll salvage those as well. So there you have it. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We appreciate you tuning in. Be sure to hit that subscription button so you don't miss a single episode of Woodmere State Revival. We uh, are going to continue to work outside the house, continue to do some cleanup and everything. We'll be down uh, this week. Make sure to uh, keep you apprised of all the changes that are happening in the house as the framing crew is working on the framing and as the cleanup crew is working on the crawl space, cleaning out all the nastiness uh, that lies within. So we'll be sure to get down here and get some video footage of all the action. We're very excited about it, and uh, we, we can't wait to start seeing this place get put back together. So stay tuned for new episodes. Be sure to hit that like button. Please uh, pass this channel on to your friends and family. We appreciate you guys tuning in, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Thanks.